grab this all right everybody we are back with another destiny 2 video with season of the lost this is week five and we are back in the debris of dreams shattered realm to find the new chests that were just added in as well as a couple of the new hidden caches as well as the crystal walls that we need agar scepter to destroy to get either the anchor or chest behind them so for the first wall what you're going to want to do from the beginning is continue into that middle area then drop down to the bottom kind of like i did you'll see the ascendant anchor there as kind of a reference point and then off to the left of it you'll see the crystal wall that we will need Agar scepter to destroy which will reveal another anchor for us to grab after that you're going to want to go back and continue through that bottom area don't go to the top section of it where the uh, the suppression field is you continue underneath it that underground passage you'll grab another anchor along the way and then once you reach the end of it along the right you'll see it the last uh, little crystal area in, uh, for Agar scepter in the area you just blow up that wall grab yourself another anchor After that, we're going to just head right back up top and you'll find like this glimmer extraction looking uh, thing where there's a giant white beam kind of going in the sky and enemies will keep surrounding you. We're going to head there and we're going to start killing them until uh, an orb. Once the orb drops, you're going to want to make your way over to where the marker on your map is. You'll see I have a second one just to free the tech in because I d did all the beacons before this just to make sure everything was lit up. Um, but you don't have to do that. You just have to do the first two beacons realistically uh, in order to make sure all the suppression areas and uh, barrier breaches and all that are activated. But anyways, once you grab the orb, you're going to want to make your way over to this building on the side. And where we went to the barrier breach during the first week to get the chest. The chest is still there, but this time there's a teleporter, which will actually be the teleporter to send us to that area that uh, wasn't accessible as of last week. We had a kind of uh, glitch jump, uh, not last week, but the previous time that we were here a few weeks ago, we had a glitch jump our way over here. There's an actual path now that you can see with the teleporter. So you're going to want to bring this orb down to the end here and deposit it in this uh, charger-like device. And then just like in um, the strike you're going to want to step on the plate and let the plate just kind of sink down as it does and just kill the ads that pop up in the meantime it's very much like the uh the strike with the um uh, the sworn boss at the end i can't remember his name at the end right now for some reason but anyways you're going to grab the orb But just before you do, actually, um, if you go and grab yourself a uh, true sight, you can do this after, but I decided to do this now so you don't have to double back. Um, grab yourself true sight and head on down to where the chest was that we found during the previous time we were here. But this time, there's actually a hidden cache down here that they've just added here, you'll see. We'll grab the chest if you haven't grabbed it already, then grab this new hidden cache to interact with, which is just added this week. And they add a little bit of dialogue information on their search for me through the ruins of this place. Imagine the Corsairs looked for me, even here. But they gave their lives while searching through these crooked plains. A queen would not be hustled. I will add their sacrifice to the weight I already bear. After that, you can just go right back up to where we were, and we're going to continue now with uh, the orb. We're going to grab the orb, and we're going to head over. Grab the chest there if you haven't already grabbed it, but that was one of the ones that we already grabbed in the previous week. But if you did happen to miss it last time, by all means, grab it. You're going to want to jump down here, not almost fall off the map like I did. I got very lucky here. I was about to make an absolute fool of myself and fall off the map, but we managed just to stretch it out. You want to go in here this building is now open as you can see 
and there's going to be an area for us to deposit the orb. So we're just going to want to dunk that, as we do. And then you just want to clear the ads in the room. There's going to be a bunch. And then after that, you'll find uh, at the end of the area, there's an anchor that you can grab. You can either grab that before or after uh, invoking the thing for the chest. But as just in the video purposes, I kind of walked past it. And then I doubled back and went to the console, which is now available after you destroy all the enemies in the room. You activate the console and you'll get yourself another chest. Alright, for the next one, we're going to want to head back to where, uh, after the second beacon, and you head up that kind of like ladder area. But once we get up top, there's actually a new door here that you can see for us to get to. You can clear the ads here if you feel like it. Some of them might be immune. Um, that is because of the quest that is about to occur, uh, which I will explain in just a second. So you want to go through the new door here that you can now unlock. And in here, there's going to be a bunch of ads. Just go on and clear them out. And you'll notice that there's a specific guy there with the, uh, the name there that uh, it's just on the bottom left that he just disappeared. Um, he's basically kind of teleporting and disappearing as we are killing him. And we're going to have to find him to get all of these codes that are needed to open up this next chest here. So you can go in and put a passcode in any of the... Uh, lanterns it really doesn't matter which order and you'll see what I did after that is I just go through the barrier breach wall on the left here first find out and we have ourselves another chest right off the bat after that you just want to want to continue going through here Once you start to get closer to the per the guy that you need to kill for these codes, they'll actually have a marker there on your map. Like as you see there, I have a, another one there pointing me right in this kind of this building right here on my right. But just before we go in, we're just going to activate True Sight here, and some platforms will actually pop up for us, and uh, we'll go on and grab this chest. You can see there is also one more little anchor there before we go into the building. And then we're going to want to invoke the barrier breach, go on in here, and once again kill this guy. And then once you finish killing everybody in the room, and once you've killed him again and he disappears, you'll see that it'll flash on your screen um, that you have the scorn cash passcode. It'll flash. So you can just go back and drop off another passcode. And then what I did is head back outside, and I, the marker was actually just outside back here in the uh, ruined outpost. So I just dropped down in here. And now earlier, when I was kind of exploring through here, these guys were immune. Um, now I'm guessing they're immune is because you have to kill them in the order uh, that they go out in. Like, you have to find that first room uh, where you found the chest in the first place. So uh, then once you've killed the first one and then the second one, now once we've come back here to uh, say to this third one, he's down, they're no longer immune. You can now kill them. I was running into that before where I was just like, why are these scoring immune? But I'm assuming it's because they wanted you to kind of kill them in order. So you come down here, you kill the final guy, or you kill him again for the final time. Get yourself the passcode, make your way back up, put in the final lantern, and grab yourself the chest. This spawn appeared to be in the early stages of the 
developing some form of trial by combat, I'm reminded of your crucible guardians. Mockeries of life, sloughing off the skin of their former culture. If the scorner learn, change it. What are they becoming? Then, after that, we're going to make our way back across the, uh, towards the middle, but then we're going to make our way towards the suppression field out there on the side. Yeah, just activate the true site. You just kind of hop across the platforms, find yourself that true site, and then jump your way across here. And then you're going to want to invoke the true site. And just off to the end of this kind of uh, area here, you'll find the next hidden cache. Which is just added again this week. These weren't available as previous weeks. We were here uh, for a chest and a couple anchors here in the previous weeks. But if you didn't miss those, feel free to go back to that other video and grab them. Or while you're here, just grab them while you're here now. And then for the final cache, we're actually going to want to go back to where we were uh, in the room with, with the three lanterns. And you're going to want to invoke that barrier breach where we uh, go up to the side of the ship here through the laser kind of grid area. Um, as we make our way back out here, as our true sight's kind of uh, fading away, you can actually see uh, as we make it up here the next cache there, but it disappears. You actually need to invoke true sight in order to get this one so just go back up here invoke that true sight turn around and then grab yourself that final cache and this will be all between the two videos uh, a couple weeks ago and this one that'll be all the chests anchors and hidden caches for the debris of dreams so i hope this uh was helpful for you guys and hopefully uh you're able to find everything Alright everybody, that does it for another Destiny 2 video with Season of the Lost. This was week 5, and this is the Debris of Dreams with the final chests and hidden caches. So between my last video, which I will have a link for, and this one, this was all the anchors and chests that you can get for the Debris of Dreams, and you should be able to collect all of the triumphs for them. So I hope this was informative. If you guys did manage to like it, it would be absolutely wonderful if you hit the like button, and please do consider subscribing to the channel to stay tuned on more content in the future. But until next time, have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day, and as always, stay hydrated, as hydration is key.